One of the uh, simplest ways to create the morph targets necessary uh, is to use programs like ZBrush which allow for uh, uh, easy manipulation of vertices uh, and what we're doing here is showing you the workflow. We uh, take a copy of the uh, mesh and we call it um, Z Sculpt, and we uh, convert it to a poly. In other words, we get rid of all the modifier stack, and we press Go Z, which means we go straight into ZBrush, which is part of the the uh, things available in ZBrush now are, are quite amazing. So here, we immediately get uh, the mesh. Um, we can do things like hide portions of it or we can upgrade it, we can subdivide to the sixth level or get a million polygons, create some interesting uh, uh, effects and distortions and folds and furrows and then generate a normal map. But in this case all we're doing is just uh, lifting up the vertices uh, to create say a smile or a frown or whatever and uh, we're putting on the symmetry so we're just lifting everything up. I think this is going to be a smile. Uh, we just lift the upper lip up. We move the associated regions. Uh, have a look at the polygroups. You see it's quite low, low res, so it's easy to move uh, the vertices at, at this uh, level of subdivision. So here we have already, we've, uh, we've switched it. We've stored the morph target and switched it so we can see the effect. We're back in uh, max now and we can see um, we've chosen the introduced ZBrush mesh as a target for the morph and there it is it's, it's easy there it is and we delete the original morph